Hello YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host Aaron Hauser and today we're going to be reviewing the NECA San Diego Comic Con exclusive Kick-Ass 2 Colonel Stars and Stripes Betsy Ross Bat Replica. Holy shit, I never thought I could actually say that in one take. Anyways, this is a very cool replica that was released this year. It is limited to 2,000 pieces for this, this specific replica and it's definitely worth the money. This one I picked up for, I want to say it was like 70 bucks on eBay. And it's totally worth it. This thing is made out of solid wood. It's supposed to be an axe handle. On the one end you've got uh, grip tape. And then it's got the Colonel Rank insignia there. On one side it has engraved in the wood, hey ho, let's go. And then on the other side it says, these colors don't run. It's got the... Uh, NECA, what does it say, trademark 2013, and then on the other side it's got the stars with the blue stripes, and then it's got three of these stars on the end. There's not a whole lot to it other than that, but it is a very cool piece if you're a big fan of the uh, Kick-Ass films. If you've seen Kick-Ass 2, you know that this is the uh, trademark weapon of Colonel Stars and Stripes. He doesn't like to use guns, but he'll use them as a last resort when he's cornered to make his point. But this is a very cool replica. Uh, the reason, uh, like I said, it's, it is a limited edition, and it's limited to 2,000 pieces for this one because they actually made a foam, I think it's like a foam rubber version for cosplayers and for kids, I guess. I don't know. Um, they sell them on the NECA uh, eBay page, actually, right now. But this one is a little harder to find because it was only sold at the San Diego Comic Con convention. So if you want to get one of these, you can probably still find them on eBay for a decent price. Uh, some of them are going for around, I don't know, maybe a hundred or so. But this one, I got it for around 70 bucks. And uh, it came in a collectible box, which was nice. Had uh, foam packaging on the front and the back. And then I want to say it had... Um, it did have a, like a limited edition number on the front of it. I think mine was 1,000 something for this spe this uh, specific piece. So, anyways, this is a, a really neat replica if you're into the NECA prop replicas, and it's a, a very cool display piece. So, but uh, that's about it for this review. If you have any questions about the prop replica, just leave them in the comments below, and uh, check out some of my other reviews, including the Series One Kickass Two figures from NECA. That's it. Thanks for watching.